Hi guys and welcome back to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and whether you're existing or you're a new subscriber, thanks so much for the support. I decided to do another DIY and this is the oh so famous coffee table books. So stay tuned guys and enjoy. Uh, right now I'm just showing you some of the things that I needed. I needed I used the black paint, got the paint from Dollarama, my paintbrush is from Dollarama as well, and the book is also from Dollarama. These little stickers is what I'm going to be using for the letters, and that is from Dollarama as well. So it's a very, very cost-effective project. So to start, you'll need your book. and. So I was able to find one that was already all black, so that was a bonus. The span of the book, there's silver lettering that I didn't want there, and that's what I needed the paint for. Uh, it's a good size book. This is exactly the size that I wanted. I mean, you can make this whatever size you want. It's really just based on the space you're putting it in. So here, I'm just gonna paint the spine of the book. And I am also going to paint around maybe about four inches from the spine inwards as well. I wanted to kind of create a little bit of dimension by having a matte black and then a little bit of a glossier black. So that's what I'm doing here. In order to have a clean line, I used tape and that made it a lot easier for me when painting. I didn't have to pay too much attention. I just put the tape, made sure it was sealed completely down where I wanted it to separate between the matte black and the semi-glossy black. And then I went ahead and I painted it. I'm just prepping the front of the book now to put the words again I'm using tape in order to make sure that my wording is positioned in a nice straight line and I use the tape because it's easy to rip off if I need to move it around and it doesn't tear off any parts of the book or the paint that I've painted onto the spine of the book Once you're happy with the placement of the tape, this part is super easy. You just get your stickers and you go ahead and title the book whatever name you want. In this instance, I'm doing this one, Tom Ford.
I don't want the pages to be glued together so what I'm doing instead of the Mod Podge I am just going to paint all sides of the book the top the bottom and the front end of the pages white the white I feel will look more aesthetically pleasing because the font is written in white and the natural coloring of the pages is a bit of a creamish off-white color and I found that it didn't look good that way so this is what I'm doing now is just painting the top bottom and the front end of the book Now that the sides are all dried, I'm just going to go in and do a little bit of cleanup. I also added a little gem on there for some sparkle because my home is mostly glam decor. The inside black part of the book got white on, that's from when I painted the pages. So I'm just going to go in right now, clean that up really quickly and just make it more aesthetically pleasing. Since I'm doing three books and each of the books are different sizes, I did want to have one that was just really glammed out. And so what I did was I went to Dollarama and I got this chunky glitter fabric. I wanted to choose something that is not going to rip because I do want longevity out of the books. So here I just placed the fabric down. I'm just getting a little familiar with it and measuring the book to make sure everything fits well. Just keep it in mind, if you're gonna use this fabric, it is only 12 by 36 inches. So if you want a seamless finish, then make sure that your book is a couple inches shorter than the actual fabric so that you're able to um, fold over some of the fabric on the inside instead of having to attach it in the middle. Then you're just going to put some glue down. I used my glue gun. Use whatever glue you'd like because it's a fabric. I'm using a glue gun and um, I find that that gives more of a permanent stick. Don't put too much glue down. Uh, as you can tell in a couple of seconds you'll see where the glue actually burnt my finger because when I pushed down the, the excess kind of came out and went all over my hands but not to worry it cools very quickly and I was able to get it off Thank you. 
The way that I sealed off the ends of the book is I kind of did it like an envelope or almost very similar to the way you would wrap a present. I wanted it to be extremely neat and so this is what I did at the end of it. I just cut it on, a, on an angle and then I put a little bit of glue on there to hold that and then once I had it the shape that I wanted and I had the tightness that I needed I went ahead and put some more glue. There we go, that's me just making sure it's where I need it to be. And then I put the glue on. And then I always pull it. Because it's a fabric, you guys may have noticed me opening and closing the book quite a bit. Because it's fabric, in order to make sure that the book has no bubbles, every time I apply glue, I will move down any of the air bubbles that could be there and make sure that everything is completely smoothed out. I know it sounds funny saying air bubbles, but you know, when because there's no glue on the top part of the book, there is nothing connecting it. So if you don't smoothen it down, then there will be a massive bubble that you can't get rid of. I put the glue as close to the end as possible, and then I'm pulling it actually relatively tight because I want it to be really really firm and I close it and again just making sure that there is no lifting towards the middle I rub my hand and I do this process for both front and back covers just because I really want it to have a very polished look This part of the book is a little challenging all you're just going to do is again you can cut it straight and leave it but I want it to look aesthetically pleasing so I just added some glue to the very top part here and I'm just going to stick that you probably will burn your finger unless you use something else to stick it down but I, I was okay because like I said burning it with the hot glue can just last for a couple of seconds but I do recommend using um, like a popsicle stick or the tip of a scissors to glue it down and this is very quick just a couple of seconds is all you need I just taking off the excess glue that's there and that's what it looks like and then I'll do that on the other side of the book as well I am going to be using all of the books that I am making today and because of this I want to make sure the inside of the book does look appealing also it will help to prevent the book from peeling or to prevent the attached part on the lid of the book from peeling off what I've done here is just put some glue from my hot glue gun and then I'm gonna take the first page of the book and glue that to the cover the inside part of the cover now you see that bottom part how it looked really loose that's normal don't worry about that that's because there's no glue on the inside but once you close the book it's fine so that's what it looks like when I have attached the first page I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there and this is a cookbook this is one of the reasons why I wanted to keep it
there. And once that's sealed, we're going to do the same thing to the back page. I had to get super creative here. I did not have black letters, so I painted over the white letters with black paint, and that is how I was able to achieve the black lettering. But I know for sure you can actually buy these letters in any color. I unfortunately only had it in one color, and they had started the project already and decided I'm not going back out. I'm going to make do with what I have and this was the alternate solution. I suggest before permanently sticking each letter on the book just to gently rest them there and make sure that you're happy with the, its placement and that you spell it correctly <laughs> and then once you've done that that would be a good time to go ahead and stick each letter. My first attempt was using hot glue to attach the letters. I tried a couple times and it just wasn't working out. I think it's because one, the material was fabric and then the actual fabric is textured. So I peeled off the glue from on that and I damaged that letter. I had to go ahead and make another C and I came up with the idea to use crazy glue, which fortunately I had in my crafting kit and that was what worked and I found the crazy glue worked really well. I love glitz and glam and I wanted this book to really really resemble that part of my home because the majority of my home is a glam style decor. I got these, I would just call them almost um, like diamond stickers, the craft diamond stickers from Dollarama and this is just me placing them on the book to see if I like how it looks and then I'm just going to apply it with the crazy glue. I am 
am super happy with the end result of this book. I really, really like it. I think it looks so beautiful. I'm not going to put um, the Chanel on the front of it, just the side, as this book is going to have other books stacked on it. So this is for the last and final book for my trio that I'm doing. Now this book, again, all of the books I really do want to read them. This is a cookbook. I haven't even looked at all of the recipes, but it's definitely something that I am interested in going through. And so with that being said, I am not going to be sticking any of the pages, just like the previous two. I'm leaving the pages so that the book can be read. I am going to be painting this one completely white and when painting a dark book white you have to use so much layers of paint. I went through quite a bit of paint on this but I really wanted it painted, I did not want it wrapped. There are so many other alternatives you can use, I've seen people use just plain white paper and cover it but I wanted it painted and that's the route that I took so I had to be very patient and apply quite a bit of paint. Uh, to get the overall look that I was going for. Now that the book is completely painted and dried, I need to do some cleanup and also just make sure that the inside of the book matches the outside of it so again when using white paint over black print or black color any dark color you have to use quite a bit so I've used a couple coats of it over on the book here and then instead of using the glue gun I actually just used glue because it was paper on paper and not fabric to paper so the glue would have been completely fine to use and would have sealed everything permanently To get my book to look this way, after I painted it, I used a roller to create texture because I did not want the book to be smooth. Now the letters that I have here, again I had to get creative, I wanted a book that I can use really for the February month where I like to celebrate Valentine's for the entire month. So what I did here was I covered the white lettering that I used on both of my projects uh, prior to this one I covered that with red glitter I should say and here I am just really spelling out the word making sure I like the arrangement of it how it looks and then I also used crazy glue glitter makes the lettering very hard so when you do use the crazy glue if that's the direction you want to go I'm sure a glue gun will work but I wanted something that was not going to be too messy um, so when you use the crazy glue just make sure that you apply a lot of pressure if not the letters will not stick and they will just kind of buckle upwards but once I applied pressure to it it was fine it stayed stuck no problem this is the final result. I love it so much. I am keeping the top clean. Again, it's going to be stacked, so I didn't really want to put anything on the top of it, but I can always do that for another project if I needed to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my DIY, and I will see you guys in the next video.